Where did he get a castle from me? Oh, let me just pull out a castle from my pocket. And he's going to get a Manganel, too. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another classic game cast with Doubt, of course. Doubt playing in the red as the Turks. And in blue, we have Cyclops HYM playing as the Aztecs. I'm not very familiar with Cyclops. This game was played around the late 2000s, and it's in the classic game category of uh, AOC Zone. Which means it should be quite a good one. Why it is a classic though? We must find out. Aztecs versus Turks. Turks are certainly not the best Arabia civilization, especially in the uh, 1.0 balance. This is a classic Age of Conquerors. The DLC was, were only a mod at this point. The Forgotten Empires was only a mod. Might have been even before then. So, the Turks are not going to be the greatest civilization, especially against the un unnerfed Huns with their cavalry archers, fast stables, great economy. What do the Turks have? The Turks have a gold mining bonus, great, and they also have some good gunpowder, but getting to that gunpowder can be quite problematic when your map looks as open as it does as Doubt's map. Two forward stones next to his opponent, going to be hard to mine those. This gold, fairly exposed, going to be hard to mine that. Gold on the right side, okay, but how in the world are you going to wall this map? It's basically impossible. It would take you 10,000 wood to wall this map. <laughs> Probably. We'll see how Doubt decides to play this. Not an easy game for him. Taking a look at Cyclops' map. Oh, I'm sorry! I'm, oh, I'm, I'm so messed up. This is an Aztecs player. Even worse. Even worse than the Huns. Aztecs with a great economy, with great uh, great military production speed. It's like if you took a great economy bonus and then paired it with a great military bonus. This is the civilization that you get, and the great all around. Completely overpowered on Arabia. So production buildings build faster, villagers carry more, their farms actually work faster because of that carry bonus. And they get an extra 50 gold at the start of the game, which means that the Aztec 5 Militia Drush is something to be feared. And every time you play the Aztecs, you have to think to yourself, how am I going to game plan against that strategy? How am I going to defend against that? Let alone attack. Forget about attacking. So, most likely, Cyclops will go for that. 5 Militia Drush, 4 in wood already. Taking a look at his map. Good wood over in the south side, although it is exposed. Good in the sense that uh, he can definitely get a good saturation on it. Here are forward, but are lureable. Gold and stones are exposed, so fairly open map for Cyclops. A little bit better though, in my opinion. One thing I don't like about Doubt's map are these uh, hills on the forward part. Doubt, however, though, is going to steal the scout. Steal the boar, my bad. Only losing a mere 14 HP. Let's see if Cyclops is going to react. He's going to come back with his own Eagle Warriors, as uh, Fiage calls them. One of my favorite players, he calls them Boar Stealers, because they're great at stealing boars. However, Doubt has... Doubt has missed my crew. How, how, how surprising. Going to take another two hits from the boar, and going to try to lure that one back. So this is a good way to slow down the Aztecs. Take away some of their food income. They'll definitely need that if they want to make a lot of militia. What is Cyclops doing though? Is he looking for the scout? Has he not found it? You can see the boar running across the map. No, this is all in his black area. When, um... Here we go. Doubt's going to come into the Fog of War. You can't see the scout, of course, because that's what Fog of War does, but you can see the boar. And it's a little bit too late for Cyclops. Hasn't found where Doubt's base is either. So Doubt should get a nice food advantage from this. And gotta wonder how this changes Doubt's game plan, knowing that he's essentially around 650 food ahead of his opponent. Stealing 350 and gaining 350. Cyclops is actually gonna lure with his villager a deer to help compensate. He's still gonna go with the militia. Would have been great if he could use this scout to uh, lure some deer. He might still do that. Another boar coming in. It's good to be safe. I want that eagle to steal this boar. And tons of food for doubt. What will he do with it, though? 
That is the question. Will we put it towards a better scout rush? Or we don't see a barrack set, so no militias. Or a faster castle age, maybe. Or faster feudal age. Here's those three militias. Gonna be hard to make a lot of these militias, though. Without that extra food. Cyclops sending a few extra villagers onto trees. So Mike want to get out some more uh, some more farms. He is not housed. Not housed very much though. And he's gonna start off a wall up here. This is a great wall off. He'll only have to worry about his right side for the most part. This is pretty easy to wall. Here comes those militias across the map. Let's put that game time up. A little bit late, a little bit delayed. Now it's was definitely hittable by militias. I check Cyclops scouting. Scouting is so important when you're trying to go with the Dark Age rush. You can see the berries. The berries are a target. You also see the top tree here, so he knows the town center is pretty close to the berries, so he won't be able to do too much damage. And now sees the wood line, though. This is where the money's at. We have one, two, three, four militia coming out across the map. The fifth one should be on its way. However, to compensate for the lost boar, looks like we have now four farms out for Cyclops. That lends itself better to a fast castle build. Let's see if he's going to be able to get this villager. 10 HP, 6 HP, great micro from Dow. Gonna lose! No! Not gonna lose the militia here! Great defense! Couldn't ask for a better start from Dow. Didn't lose a villager yet. This one is very, very exposed, though. This is kind of crazy. Dow's game plan against the Aztec 5 Militia Drush is no game plan. Just fight it with villagers. Be a man. Or a hunter. This is not something I'd ever attempt. It's not something I'd ever recommend. Using your villagers to fight off this uh, this Dark Age rush. Is it? Is it? Is and Doubt's gonna go back. At least it's a little bit of damage from this Dark Age rush, preventing deer from being taken. So Woodline is gonna be a huge target. This villager is quite low. Is is this villager is now quite low. If you're gonna take out all of these militias, wouldn't mind wouldn't mind if I lost the villager, but with all this harassment that's coming in, that is not going to be good. These villagers look to be trapped. Nope, gonna go, gonna walk around. No, nope, okay. Either way, this is still pretty good damage. Idling a lot of these villagers. And there we go. There's the next age. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, Doubt's gonna go with Market Blacksmith. He's done a 26 population uh, feudal age. So with uh, with good resource management, certainly an extra boar, it is possible to do a, cast a fast castle. What is uh, Cyclops' follow-up? He's gonna go with a fast castle himself. Those farms lending itself well to that strategy. And he's doing he's doing uh, enough damage here to uh, justify it. I think that was a villager that went down from Doubt just as I clicked away. Militia going down. Is another villager going to go down? Two villagers down already. And there's still still four military units here. This villager's going to get fairly low. Actually going to walk back. And this could be another dead villager. Especially the eagle. Eagle needs to hit it twice. Here's once. And here's going to be twice. Three villagers down from doubt. This is why you, you, uh, you got a game plan against this strategy. Cyclops has a fairly significant lead here, despite being down that one boar. Archer Range Blacksmith coming up. You can see yet another village to go down. This one's quite weak. And I think that's going to be it. This eagle is still a threat, though. 32 HP left. Welcome to the stream, Baba Beer. Alright, let's see how Doubt's economy is doing. He's got enough gold in the bank, not surprising. He's playing as the Turks. Food is going to be an issue if he wants to go knights, and... This strategy is making less and less sense to me as I think about it. H how is he going to defend against archers? Just how is he going to do that with the market and blacksmith? He's going to go monks? 
It's gonna go straight town center, so a siege workshop. It's gotta be a siege workshop, I would think. Because the Turkish Castle Age army is so weak that he's not even gonna make it. All right, um, Cyclops, where's your archers, man? Okay, here's your first archer, a little late. This villager is trapped here as well. That is so annoying to deal with. I'm gonna have to move on from his first wood line. You do feel the effects of this as a player. Um, we talk about saturation mechanics a lot because it is really so important. Should uh, migrate over to this bottom wood line. Anyway, archers will be coming out shortly. You can send them right across the map. Don't have to worry about it. Now up to his uh, very fast castle age. You can try to get ahead and uh, replace those three villagers with an early town center. Those three villagers that he lost. And that's what he's going to do. Quick look at uh, Doubt's resources. Has enough for a siege workshop if he wants one. Um, don't think he's seen the archers. You have to know that Aztec player is going to make archers, though. What are they going to make? Especially in Age of Conquerors, they're not going to make eagle warriors. And there's that first archer. Could have missed two shots before firing. And, of course, Dalit with Balls of Steel going to fight this with villagers once again. And going to go up with another town center. Who needs military when you just gotta make more villagers? If they die, that means they're weak. Replace them with new villagers. And town center is up. And I would be amazed if he can get an archer here. He can, actually, yes! Awesome! He's effectively half the damage potential of that army. However, more archers coming across the field. Now, upgraded crossbow. If I were to take a position of any of these players in this game, I would certainly take Cyclops' position. I'm going to go with the monastery, collect some relics as well. Now, Cyclops does not have enough wood. We talked about this terrible lumber camp here. He's actually had to build another one instead of town center. Because he's so low on wood. But he'll be up with two town centers, and I think he should have have done enough damage by that point to uh, be a okay. All to this Meganel micro. If Dal can defend for the time being, pick off a few crossbows, keep them from doing damage, then he'll certainly get ahead in the villager number and even up the game. However, if Cyclops can continue to harass, continue to do damage, avoid the Manganels, even take out a Manganel, he'll be in a great position. Not seeing any defense in military makes me feel antsy, says De Santiago. It makes me feel antsy too. Remember, this game was in the classic games uh, section of AOC Zone recorded games for a reason. We'll only know that reason by the end of the game, I assume. Right now, Archer's doing some great damage. No Bonkin arrow yet. And a good Megano shot! Awesome! One HP left on that crossbow. So far, so good for Doubt. This crossbow here might also get taken out by a Megano. Doubt does not have enough resources for a second Megano yet. Might want to consider making a Scorpion. They are cheaper than Meganels. Scores pretty even, about 100 in the in the lead for Cyclops. Bon Canera certainly would be a great upgrade. Coming forward with two villagers, going to drop down a monastery. So now Doubt has to think about how do I defend against monks, how do I defend against redemption, if that possibly comes in. If uh, Cyclops wanted to go full monks, I think is, uh, I think um, I think he could definitely do that. He's mining a lot of gold. We didn't talk about the monks in the early game, but the monks have uh, extra 5 HP for every monk technology that comes in on them. I don't know what technology was just done right now. Might have been, might have been Redemption. We'll have to see. I'm pretty sure it was Redemption. And if he takes a hit, he's actually going to live. And that Megano has been converted. That is huge. 
This is so huge. Mangano on top of a hill. You can't fight that with villagers. You can't do but you can't fight with villagers anymore. And that extra 5 HP, this this monk is on 4 HP. Any other civilization's monks would have died. Except for the Aztecs. It's yet again one of their strengths. Down saying you can't build monks as cheating. Here comes the second monk. Sanctity now done. 55 HP on these monks, as opposed to 45. 45 for regular civilization's monks. Cyclops coming down with his own siege workshop. This town center is in jeopardy. This gold is in jeopardy. This wood is in jeopardy. These villagers are in jeopardy. Doubt is in jeopardy. I like the game Jeopardy, by the way. Another Manganel out. You gotta be super careful when there are monks around. Dow needs to do something to defend against this. He's got a barracks that pikemen are not gonna do it. You're gonna have to have a stable. You're gonna have to have houses. All of these things cost wood. Wood is the resource that Doubt doesn't have. He has a castle! Why did he- how the fuck does he have a castle? Where did he get a castle from me? Oh, let me just pull out a, ca a castle from my pocket. And he's gonna get a Manganel too. Do you know how much it costs to buy a castle? It, it costs like 900 gold to buy a castle. Did he have my 900 gold before this? He must have. Oh my god. Still, yeah, this, this castle is not in a good position. This castle is not going to prevent this town center from going down. It's not going to prevent this town center from going down. It's not going to help Doubt push out across the map and take a second gold. You need a second gold to win most games. Here's a second gold over here. Here's a third gold over here. Two stones over here. Got about, uh, about 1,500, maybe 2,000 gold left on these mines. Probably about 2,000. What's the one thing that Turks need the most? They need gold. Everything that they make, except for Husser, costs gold. And these monks, look at that range. Oh, actually, converting villagers, my bad. Two villagers down, though. We're gonna call it. This game is in the classic category because Doubt will go P Tars. Probably not. Looks like he's going Janissaries. It's extremely strong Castle Age unit, by the way. Not great against Pike Crossbows. Crossbows are okay against them. And Aztec monks, they'll be a little beefier. Again. Speaking of P tarts, why don't the Turks have a um, have a P tart HP bonus or something like that? They have HP bonus from all their gunpowder, but not the P tart. I think the P tart needs to be classified as siege. Just so we have a civilization with a P tart bonus, we need. Wouldn't it be great if there was a civilization that had like. Demo ships extra blast radius, P tards extra blast radius. How, how fun would that be? P tards extra blast radius. That would be so much fun. And uh, of course, Doubt saying, I don't need this military. I don't need to defend. I'm going to walk all the way around the map and go attack. And he can sure do some damage. Smart move from down though, because he would have to go up a, a, on top of this hill, would have to face the siege workshop, which could pop out a Manganel at any point. And Cyclops is not thinking about the counterattack at all. In fact, it looks like he's even stopped crossbow production, a move that I definitely disagree with. As you can see, no crossbow streaming across the map anymore. Why has Cyclops really slowed down the production of his military? I don't know. He's got two rams out. Rams certainly were not the best decision. No monks coming out, no archers. And surprise! Here's the Janissaries. I like seeing Janissaries too. They're, uh, they're one of my favorite units. I'm gonna pick off a villager. Eight range for Janissaries. Seven range for the crossbowmen. And these gold, mining, gold miners are uh, are still exposed. I'm gonna pick off another two. 
that's the three villages from the early game that Doubt has uh, has gotten back. While such an history, though, this monk will probably go down. He's a little beefy again. Four HP. What, what's with the four HP survivals? Oh, well, it's not going to matter anyway. He's going to go down. Going to get shot in the face. Another villager down. Doubt's find the uh, found the perfect soft spot in between these three town centers. Gonna idle a lot of villagers here. As you can see, Cyclops map not the best for booming. His town centers can't get in a good position. This town center's in the middle of nowhere. This is enough crossbows to deal with this, though. That's a lot of crossbows. Now it's taking the score lead for the first time in this game. Let's see how that changes, though, after this engagement. Uh, Doubt really can't run anywhere. Or maybe he can. Are Genistries faster than crossbows? It looks like they're actually a little faster. I didn't know that. One relic for Cyclops. Only one relic, though. Town center coming up in a forward position. I like that decision. If these were Manganels, they could have been able to uh, maybe get a lucky shot on these Genistries, but no, they're just Rams. You can still kill the Manganel, though, if you're watching. And uh, Cyclops needs to step up this military production. Able to take out all those genisteries, however. Scores are dead even now. Is the Archer line in general a good counter versus hand cannons? I would say it is. However, if you're going against hand cannons, you also know your opponent gets bombard cannons. And once your opponent has more than one bombard cannon, um, the Archer line is not a good counter to that combination. You're going to need something with a little more oomph in it. Okay. You know, she's going to walk right past this town center. It doesn't have enough villagers to be able to do any significant damage. And I did see those Megano somewhere. At some point. Might, might have gotten taken out. Yeah, there it is. There's the uh, Megano carcass. It must have been chased down by the ram. I'm sad I missed that. Finally, Down's going to push out. He's going to get his second gold. He's going to take another stone. Looks like he's going to stay with Genistries this game. The good thing about Genistries, though, uh, uh, even it, it's like a fact historically that the uh, the Meso civilizations had trouble against gunpowder, and they certainly do in Age of Empires. Let's see how many conversions we can get off. Um, one conversion down. What is... Oh, these monks actually don't have any faith. Only going to get a single conversion for five monks. It's not good at all. Cyclops starting all of his conversions too late. And that looking pretty good. Speaking of um, Meso civilizations, trouble against gunpowder. So, Eagles will certainly not do well against gunpowder. That should be uh, that should be uh, easily uh, well known. Um, Arbalest for the um, for the Aztecs, not the strongest Arbalest. No thumb ring, no uh, last armor upgrade, I believe. So that's not going to be the best. Might be the best option right now, but not going to be the, not going to be super strong. Um, Siege onagers would definitely be okay. Uh, would definitely be good, but that's going to be so hard to upgrade. Regular onagers can get countered by bumper cannons later on. There's still the raiding potential though of those eagles, so that is something to take into consideration. Doubt's map is still extremely bad. And Doubt make a, make, might make a run in. He's actually built the archery range in the same place the Genesis were, so maybe they can't get there again. I don't know. Castle. Oh, Castle's great. Castle's a good way against defending against Genesis. They won't want to run into those. There's not many units that will. And we're going to see Eagles out from, uh, from Cyclops instead of full archers. Um, I don't know what I think of that decision. I'll have to see. Imperial Age coming in from Cyclops, though, and Doubt is already up to the Imperial Age as well. Be able to make Bumber Cannons right away. Have enough resources for Legion history. I would get that one right away. And the armor upgrade, especially when going against Arbalest. And let's take a look at Cyclops' resources. Um... Has this gold here? Has he seen it? 
Has not seen that gold actually. Where is he getting gold from? He's got one relic. This is a big problem for Cyclops. You, you're gonna make eagles and you're not gonna have any gold? What? Hmm, Cyclops not looking in a great position at all. He's down a thousand points in score now. Don't see any upgrades coming in. I think Doubt might have made the excellent defense here. He spent all of his gold on eagles. Alright, he's just spent, uh, spent it on a big upgrade now, I feel. Last, no. What was the big upgrade? Or maybe it was just more eagles. Yeah, Cyclops is not mining any gold at all. He's gonna lose his army now. Elite Genestery done. And I think this is gonna be the win from Doubt. Uh, just Cyclops not scouting his map well enough. He's finally found his town center. Found his gold, my bad. What, where's the second gold? I don't know. You get three golds to start the game. And now Dad's gonna switch into those Hussar, which are already free. Uh, Elite Eagle Warrior is done. That's where the upgrade. Um, that's what the upgrade was. You'll be able to do some pretty good damage, actually. Although only with plus one armor, they can't stay under your castle at all. Certainly more damage being done from Doubt though, especially keeping his opponent off of this gold. Got yeah, two groups of Janissary now, roaming each um, each side of Cyclops' base. And Cyclops is going to resign right there. And what a great defense from Doubt! Just balls of steel going three town centers against, against full aggression from Cyclops. And being able to defend, uh, buying a castle with just gold and no stone. I'm 100% sure he did that. Um, and also defending against the Aztec 5 Militia Drush with nothing but villagers. Although he lost three villagers of his own. And nice boar steal from doubt. This is how you take play Turks, people. This is how you play Turks. <laughs> people have just been playing Turks wrong. It's not that they were weak civilization or anything. They've just been playing them wrong. Anyway, I hope you learned something from this game. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next classic game.